As we reported earlier this hour, Governor Tina Kotek just approved millions of dollars for the fight in the homeless crisis in the state. Millions of those dollars are set aside to fund new shelter beds. Yeah, rural communities tell K2's Christina Giardinelli they have a significant shortfall in funding to existing shelters in rural Oregon. Christina joins us now. You're at a shelter that's making significant cuts. It doesn't seem to make sense in the homeless crisis. Yeah, no, it really doesn't. You know, this used to be a 50 bed low barrier men's shelter here in Corvallis. It's now completely shut down. The only thing it's offering is hygiene services. And that's because pandemic funding was slashed, causing major problems for rural shelters. Thousands of people are living without a roof on Oregon streets, and it's not just in metro areas. Governor Tina Kotek worked with lawmakers to pass a budget that includes millions to increase shelter capacity. But rural counties in Oregon say only a tiny fraction is spent on maintaining existing shelter beds. Peggy McGuire heads the Community Services Consortium, which manages money for homeless services in Lynn, Lincoln, and Benton counties. The new money is so inconsequential as it relates to replacing the funds that were previously available. For example, we are now going back to 2019 and 2018 levels of funding. Take this closed down Corvallis men's shelter, for example. During the pandemic, it was given one and a half million dollars a year to operate through grants provided by state, federal and county pandemic money. They were able to hire more people and increase shelter capacity. This year, without that pandemic money, the nonprofit's budget was cut in half. They cut 18 staff positions last month, and this shelter was closed. The nonprofit was able to move 26 beds from here to a different women's shelter, which is now a co-ed shelter, but they did lose these 24 beds. Sean Collins is the executive director of the shelter. You cut down the number of staff hours and had to ask managers to basically cover some of the shifts that would have been otherwise covered by hourly staff. Other rural counties in Oregon are facing the same problem. A 25 shelter bed in Douglas County also closed because of post-pandemic budget cuts. Although the governor's emergency plan gives $130 million to metro areas, 26 rural counties are left to split only $26 million. 20 million of that goes to putting people in stable homes, but only $6 million goes to existing shelters, and that's across 26 counties. And they're supposed to use that money to increase capacity, but those counties are skeptical. The governor's been involved with this for a long time. She understands a lot of what these housing issues are. She's very focused and very cognizant of what's happening in the metro areas, but I feel the rural areas are getting short shrift.